Hello, I'm Sinjul. No! Me applauding you for I don't think being you're top eight in Xbox check. Live. Wait, oh. we're back. We are yeah, back, right? I, yeah, yeah, just we restarted. Are so back. We it, are so back. It works now? Yeah, yeah, it works now. It works. I think oh, I think the Twitch the server just died for a second because I was still mm. sending data. It said stream is live. Like there was no there were no issues. It it just shows all like zero viewers, zero uptime. It's kind of weird. It was that way before, but anyway, Round it's okay. Mm. Very let's, interesting. Let's focus but, on on tech end. Yeah. In that time uh, confident Grog did get the game against Jakob Cass. Oh yeah. And Jakob opting for Forgotten Realm wants that floor break and the wall damage. But I like the confidence Grog... on display here by Confident Grog. I must say that, yeah, especially man. in the Negan matchup, he's sidestep ducking a lot of these strings, especially down forward one one. He even has a low parry ready. He doesn't do a stuck. He he ducks by doing a low parry. God damn it, man! How many options mm. does this guy want to cover? God damn it. Damn, and the wall standing too. No dice, unfortunately. Gives uh, gives Confident Grog the opening he needs to take the first round in game two. But remember, Negan at the wall is something to be scared of, so Confident Grog is going to want to get away from, or far away from that wall. But unfortunately, floor break number two. Elevator going down. <laughs> Pressure time. What can he do? Oh, Ooh, the crushing! We love crushes. I mean, no, no. Oh, I love power crushes crush. even more sometimes. Look at that. Damn. Like I said, we love crushes. With the mid crushes, power crushes, low crushes, work crushes. I don't know. Hydraulic press crushes. It's Hydraulic press crushes. <laughs> yeah. Hell sweep. Damn Tekken. Uh, damn Jack players. <laughs> goddamn jack players I want there, with your I want goddamn there to be hydraulic presses I want there to be a mod that replaces uh, Jack's hurt sounds in Tekken 8 with blimmin metal pipe <laughs> the metal pipe meme that yeah. one <laughs> just every time you hit Jack it's just the metal pipe <laughs> come on somebody like Sinjul uh, spawn you check your like you know the built in soundboards on discord there must be like one server who has that noise at least right on the soundboard. Oh yeah, I think I'm in a server that has a metal pipe in their soundboard. <laughs> Maybe you can, oh, no. you can play it. <laughs> you know, just time it well for when one of these guys wins the match, though. Yeah, I don't have Nitro though, so I can't use um, other servers' soundboards. Fuck, man. Uh, we'll just look it up and add it to the DSU server. <laughs> then, then streams are gonna yeah, be Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one, Sinjul. Add the sounds to the soundboard for this server. Yeah. Oh, boy. It's gonna be terrible. It's gonna be terrible. It's I gonna think be only the, the commentators ever. are gonna use it, I think. But still, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, congrats to Confident Grog taking a mm -hmm. confident mm -hmm. to nothing victory over Jacob Cars. Yeah, and uh, Confident Grog advancing to win a semis there. Who's going to be joining him? Is it going to be Shirtle or is it going to be Bode? Mm. All will what be revealed think? in the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Okay, who's going to scream for another one hour before <laughs> we reach the conclusion? Oh, nah. Nah, it's just... Oh wait, Custom. I got the sound. It's actually in Salty Use Discord, I think. It says Metal Pipe, but God knows if it's gonna be THE Metal Pipe. It probably is the Metal Pipe. Shall I test it? Yeah, go okay, on. Get go your ahead. ears ready. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> is that the one? Yeah. <laughs> we can save this one, I feel like, yeah. I swear this... <laughs> How was the volume though? It was pretty low on my end. Was it was it fine on your end as well? It was, was fine. Okay. Like it was. Do you it guys was need nice me to make low. it louder? Are no, you... don't make it louder. Because I actually have I actually have quite sensitive ears. I can it actually send this included. as my entrance sound. If I ever enter a voice chat, that's gonna be oh, my, my entrance God. music. I have a friend oh, who uh, you know, never change. I have a friend who in um, in the server, their entrance sound is the start of um, Ryu from Streets. So it's just, hey there, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ryu from Streets. This is Ryu from, from Streets. Street. Ha! Who? 
My favorite things are jumping into the light and fierce, stale bread, water without any ice, the newest season of The Simpsons. <laughs> And what? Dirt. Oh yeah. yeah. And dirt. You win Street Fighter Five, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> that was a pretty good impression, Sponchy. I can't lie. You captured you. the soullessness of the advert very, very well. The, the milk toast basic <laughs> bitch. I like dirt. Yeah. What about you? It's just and dirt. And dirt. <laughs> Good shit, I'm a can main and not a real main. Well, yeah, I'm a can main as well, actually. Let's go. I don't a friend of mine keeps on saying that I should be I games. should be a Kimberly main, but like I mm -hmm. I don't know, I'm just not vibing with Kimberly as much as I am with Ken. <laughs> yeah, he's bringing the heat! He's coming at yeah. ya! And you know, when you get the when you get the uh the drive uh Drive impact, and he's like, "Pay attention!" I love that. <laughs> uh, well, Pay attention, yeah. We we all know how it's gonna be. Um, we're gonna get a balance patch when Akuma drops. So oh, Ken yeah. is gonna be shit, and then Akuma's gonna be top tier, and everyone is like, "Yeah, I always loved Akuma. He's my favorite Shoto. I played <laughs> him in uh." In Street Tekken Fighter 4, Seven. when he was broken, I played him in Street Fighter 5, when he was broken. Was broken. <laughs> and I now I play him, him Seven, I even, when yeah, he was even, broken. Yeah, I played him since Arcade Tekken 7. That's how long I've been playing Akuma. You got all the roadmen be like, yo, bro, I've been playing Akuma since day. You get me? But enough about Street Fighter, we are now playing King of Fighters. We have King versus Vanessa. Who the fuck is King? And who the fuck is Vanessa? What, what, why am I listening to you? I just said we're playing <laughs> King of Fighters. Ah, <laughs> oh, boy. But damn, look at this damage that Shirdle is yeah. doing to Bode wow. right now. <laughs> Bode, I think, are you gonna get overwhelmed or are you gonna get some damage in? Like, what's the plan here, Bode? Show us. Oh, the blue stuff! Oh. Mm, highly impressive damage here. One more. Incoming. I'm trying to think about a list oh, of no, players he's that... Oh, he come is on, sweet bang. bang! How does he do it? How there does no he time do it? Think about it. it. There ain't no time blues. to think about jack fucking shit when Bode is playing with his Leo like that! Oh my god. My god. Come on, Shirtle. You've played against AC. you played against Richie. I mean, you, you've... You've had a hard time against them, but you've still played against them. Would have probably played uh, a lot of armored core six recently. He's beating, <laughs> he's beating the robot in Tekken. Yeah, used to it, man. Beating the shit out of them. Yeah. Do you know what? The other day, I actually tried playing Tekken with the armored core grip, where you hold the controller backwards. How did oh it yeah, out? I heard about that. That's stupid, man. It's nice. It was actually. Actual. I'm not gonna lie. It was comfortable. <laughs> I wonder yeah, if people it, oh, actually do it. Damage. I think it's like, lit literally, the single Wii, I think me and you at Gamescom, we saw the most interesting way to hold the PS5 pad, if you do remember that. Oh, one. the double claw! The double, the double claw, claw, exactly, dude. That's gonna be the new meta in the future, I feel like. That kid is onto something, dude. Mm. We discovered yeah, a little kid like 13 before. to 14 years old. He was playing Tekken like unlike anybody else. He was like a pretty was casual so player, cool. too. He, yeah. he didn't know how to play, how, how move notations went. He just played his dragon off, however he enjoyed it, you know? Mm. I, press, I press forward and square, and then I do down forward and triangle, and my favorite combo ends with forward X and circle. That type of deal. But, um, yeah, yeah. he played with double claw grip. That's the best way to describe it. He used his index and middle finger for both uh, face buttons, and he used his left index and ring finger. No, index and middle finger. Apologies for that. For the directional buttons as well. It was a crazy way to hold the pad, but somehow mm. we made it work. It was crazy. We saw quite a few crazy, uh, crazy players at Gamescom. Crazy MFs, yeah. Yeah, it's just you know I love, I love seeing that uh, 
you have so many people that enjoy playing Tekken that are just hidden somewhere, right? They, mm. they don't see them, but uh, they do exist. Yeah. This is double claw. This is double claw. Yeah. Actually, why am I holding it in the camera? We're not even showing the comments. Yeah. Here. I'll save it for later. <laughs> I'll yeah, save it for later. I can I can tell you. After the match is over, I'm just gonna switch to the commentator for it. Actually, no, I don't want to reveal my pad, bro. I broke my pad like a month ago, and I was too lazy to fix it, man. It doesn't have shoulder buttons anymore because of aggression problems, man. We don't like that. Damn. And Bode clinches the win against Shirtle in game one on Forgotten Realm as well. It is just game one. I'm pretty sure Shirtle's gonna make the comeback somehow, dude. Somehow See, he's gonna thinks, find a way. Part of me thinks that Shirtle's gonna switch to Marduk now. What? Interesting decision. Please elaborate on that one. Shirtle plays Marduk. Nah. 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 Nah, Shirtle doesn't. No, he does. No. No, he doesn't. No. Fake news. <laughs> he plays everybody in the roster except for Marduk. I mean, we who go, would? For the next battle, I think we're going to go for the infinite stage, actually. Mm. No Marduk picks up. Oh my god. Yeah. How no did you pick. know? Sponchy, how did you know? What? What? He said Marduk, didn't he? What did he know? He didn't know nothing. He just well, no, because said, then I switched it up and I said that stage. we're going to go infinite. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Fair enough. I think you're a genius, Sponchy. I, I, I apologize. Fight. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these big whiffs at, at max range as well. Oh, Bode just piling on the pressure, but unfortunately, oh, yeah. stuck low means a launch for Shirtle. And look at that damage. Holy moly. Yeah. Back 4-4 four, four into Fly as an okay option is super interesting here. Like, mm. I want to see Shirtle doing it a lot more often and see how creative he gets with it. Because it, he can get very creative with it. If he does need to be. Mm. Oh, no, Trump, going Bode! For the power crush, but... yeah. Oh, again, Bode clinching it. Like, listen up, that power crush... It kills a lot of players, the Alisa Power Crush into Chainsaw, but somehow mm. Bode managed to do the fucking L sweep and be faster than the Power Crush on that one. Good job. Let's see if Shirtle is going to get, you know, scared of it now, or if he's yeah. going to do the Power Crush more often, because it is still a viable option for him to take. Oh, but these yeah. counter hits coming from Bode as well, just knowing when Shirtle's going to press a button. Yeah, wow. What a combo there as well. Alright, chainsaws are out again. Oki, big whiff, but not the right. Doesn't really get to capitalize on the whiff because of plus frames. Down forward two, okay. Oh man, Bode right now looking to do a no round brown, man. Hmm. Shirtle though, does he have something to say about this? Flying in and end. Great oh, chart. Like it though. Doesn't Very work. Very nice sidestep into the block. Wow, man. Into Shirtle the is doing a phenomenal job right now. I feel like he could still take this if he doesn't let Bode bully him to death. Mm. Okay, good punish there. Oh no. Lot more One of these players. players. One of these players is cooking something. Hold mm. up. We're about to see something crazy pretty soon, I'm pretty sure. Oh, the counter hit. And another counter hit. Oh no. Ray Shark gets spent. And just Damn. like that, man. Bode does not let anything burn him down, bro. What is this Leo gameplay, man? So confident, so con so phenomenal actually, dude. Bode, well done. GG's. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure because that was so effective. We really could smell what Bode was cooking. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we could, yeah. I'm pretty sure we could, man. Um, With that, Shordell is going to be moving on to the loser side of things, you know? Not yeah. out yet, of course. 
Uh, he might get to meet Nino again for a little revenge match pretty soonish. Mm. We'll have to see and find out. For speaking now, though. Of... Whoa! <laughs> I did not expect that one, Chief. Well, well. Speaking of, we're gonna have a uh, losers round four match. Nino versus El Oracle Español. And um... what do you think about this matchup, Spongy? Who, who do you got your cards on now for this one, dude? See, it's it's tricky because if Nino's going to play the Bob Akuma, you know, it's very, it could very easily go in Oracle's favor. However, I don't know who mm. Oracle's playing. Um, Oracle could be playing their main, could be playing someone else. If they both decide to go for mains, I think it's going to go final round, like final, final round personally hmm. but hmm. again only time will tell i guess we gotta wait for oracle to join the lobby yeah i need to i need his uh, friend id we're not friends yet which is very very sad oh but um while we're waiting it's a good opportunity to uh remind everyone about the format for challenger league so it's going to be mm -hmm. eight tournaments that are going to be double elimination. Uh, seven players will qualify through points. And the last chance qualifier this time is not going to award any points. So you can uh, only win that to uh, to advance to group stage. Mm -hmm, and then mm -hmm. for Tekken, mm -hmm. it's going to be first to five. Uh, this time, double elimination, GSL double elimination, which means the... Um, Pretty much the grand final is not getting played. If you win in winner bracket twice, you advance from winner bracket as first place, and uh, else you advance as, uh, as uh, second place through the loser bracket. Yeah. And then first to seven, single alum at the end, as uh, as usual. And uh, that's the name of the deal. Yeah. And then also we got the coffee, we got the two hit combo. Challenge Damn. League Season 7 Prize Pool Challenge, wow. where you can pretty much uh, throw me into bankruptcy by <laughs> donating by donating money. I'm literally losing money by you donating money. So it's kind of a reverse donation, because uh, yeah. for all the money you donate on Ko-fi, or, or you kind of pay through subscribing, I'm going to add the same amount to the prize pool um, up to 800 bucks. So, um, question mm -hmm. is, can we reach 1,800 euro prize pool? That's well, the question. Well, That's if we want to reach yeah. that 1,800 prize pool, you man better get clicking. Better get donating. You better start buying Sinjul them coffees. Like, hold on. Let's explain it in, in detail for the viewers. So you need to like, like what? Like, you you're telling me we can get a thousand eight hundred dollars for a prize pool in an online tournament in Tekken Seven, in FGCs, this late into its lifespan? Shut up. You must be lying, dude. That's amazing. Well, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. 2BCU, the C stands for community. So it's up to the community to make sure that we get to that $1,800 prize mm -hmm. pool mm -hmm. or 1,800 mm -hmm. euro yeah. or whatever the currency is. We can't put on this big a show without you guys. And this is your opportunity to give back to the players that put on such an amazing performance for all of you watching. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the question is, will you help us? <laughs> will you donate to the 2B community? <sighs> yeah, those are very big questions, but um, it was a smart way to implement the Kofi Sinjil. I'm very happy about that. Mm. Donations definitely help out a lot for these players to motivate them, increase the enthusiasm, and sometimes even increase the hype value of the event itself. So, 
Yeah. Very smart way to go about this. But we're waiting on how this next match is going to turn out. Good news, Sinjul. Good news. We can push this more. Let's advertise yeah. this every single stream we do. Yeah, yeah we, we, ha we, we have that. And we also have a regular match arena with the codes for all the qualifiers yeah. and the final. Mm. So, uh, yep. Business as usual points. with the with the Macharinos. Claim them free codes. Only takes a couple clicks but at no cost to you, at much of a cost to Sinjil, because he's going to match the <laughs> the contribution, apparently. But Only on Kofi. Only, oh, only on, on Kofi. Kofi. Okay. Not the okay, Macharino. So no, only no on Kofi. Cost. Only on Kofi. Okay, but again, couple of clicks. No cost to you. Donating to the prize pool for the, for the winners of this tournament, or each week's tournament, okay. even. You know, could be helping Nina or Oracle get a couple of bucks in their pocket at the end of the night, depending yeah. on who advances. You know, he, Nino was really eager. Like he he heard us talking and he 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 was asking in chat, "What? <laughs> One thousand euros? euros today? It's like <laughs> today? No, <laughs> no, nah, no not to, like, don't be not don't today. be that simple, bro. Come on, not today. I know not professional today. Tekken players sometimes are you know not the not the brightest screws, not the brightest light bulbs in the, in the fucking department store. What do you think we are, LOL Esports? But, um, yeah, yeah, Nino. You could have you could have figured that one out for yourself, buddy. Doesn't take away from his tech and talent, though. He picked Geese, the, the bloody sweat Nino lord. Full tryhard for the for the thousand euro. <laughs> and he gets 399 at the end of it. <laughs> yeah, like, what? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's the rest of it? <laughs> Where's the rest of it, man? You still owe me nine hundred and ninety-seven dollars. <laughs> it went on advertising. Uh, even doing like going as far as doing the math and shit, like how much is he still owed in his head yeah. and shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I gotta win fifty more tournaments or something like that. You look at this. I got the clip right here of you saying it. You admitted it, and then he watches the clip himself and is like, "Fuck." <laughs> He's like, "Oh." <laughs> That's what I. <laughs> Get scammed. Get scammed, Nino. Yeah, Goodbye. I'm, this is what happens when you play 2Ds. This is your... <laughs> this is your fate. Damn. Yeah. yeah, getting a taste of your own medicine on this one for sure. Yeah. Oh, yo, yo, Oracle 99 oh. pushing through very hard. Is he going to get an Orion Brown here? Big question. Down 2 doesn't capitalize fully on the situation. Hmm... Risks are rising, risks are rising. Nino still doesn't have a bar available until just now, and is he gonna spend it? I don't think he needs to. Oh no, the Starburst whiffs mm. big time. Again, Nino not needing to spend that meter, just gets a simple punish, gives him the round. But now he's got that in his back pocket, and Oracle oh, has yeah. to be weary of that. One Building bar of max mode now. with Geese is absolutely smashingly phenomenal. He could make so many yeah. comebacks here. As a matter of fact, that could have been a punish there with a back three into the one. He was just a little bit too late on that one, though. Is Oracle gonna snuff him out now, before he can get to use his bar? Nino versus Oracle 99. Matter of time. Very nice. And Oracle finishes it first. Good job, man. Very well played. Very sensible gameplay from El Oracle Espanol. Um, but what are we gonna see from Nino now? We keep on... I, I Sorry, what? What? I'm tripping over my own words here. First question is, what's Oracle going to do? Because obviously he has won a game, but is he going to is he gonna switch up his tactic or is he just going to keep on going with that, you know, more aggressive play style? Because now Nino will have cottoned on to certain things, um, you know, certain certain behaviors that Oracle is exhibiting in that first game. Mm -hmm. But at the same mm -hmm. time, is Nino gonna go for the character switch? Are we gonna see the other 2D character being picked? Or are we gonna see just the stage pick and he's gonna switch with, uh, stick with Geese? I mean, I'm not sure, Spongy. Like, it depends on how Nino is gonna feel like... Um, how does he feel about winning for today's tournament, yeah? Is he mm -hmm. gonna stick it out with the Geese? Because this could potentially be his last fight in the tournament. This is loser's side, after all. And he just oh, doubles down on the 2D matchup. Yeah. <laughs> and he picks Akuma, for Christ's sake. Oh lordy, oh lordy, Neo, what are we going to do with you, man? What are we going to do with you in the German scene? Ay, ay, ay. On Forgotten well, Realm as well. 
Um, definitely losing some fans over this one. Just kidding, of course. Yeah. Let's see how how it's gonna work out, I suppose. I mean, Oracle showed us that he can beat one of the 2D guys in the cast, which is Geese. And mm -hmm. now he's gonna have to prove it again against Akuma. Oh, Demon flips over but gets a back throw instead. Oh no, that was unfortunate for Nino. Oh no. Um, yeah, yeah. Again, more demon flip shenanigans from Nino. Wow, I mean, Oracle, is he... Is he overwhelmed? How do you feel about this one, Spongey? Can he do it? Yeah, I mean, I feel like he can, but the thing is, is that... Nino is favoring the demon flips a lot right now. Same tactic that he had against Shirtle, playing on the patience that Oracle has. And just demon flipping doing options and not really giving Nino a chance to do you know the option selects that you can do against Demon Flip yeah and then getting basically just and like you see here with the while standing punishes and things like that just mm -hmm. getting Nino oh, sorry Nino getting Oracle yeah to just do moves that are just a little bit minus or you know just a little bit in Nino's favor, so we can get applying the a mind games punish. essentially, right? Playing the playing yeah. the meta here, like playing a bit, a bit or you know, cheeky, cheeky. Let's just say it like yeah. that, right? Uh, that cheeky like, playstyle is definitely important here, but you can't get too cheeky with it. You know what I'm saying? Because if oh, Nino yeah. gets one more round on the board here, it's gonna be I don't know, man. I don't want to play one more match against an Akuma player. You feel me? Mm. Well, the thing is, is that you look at it, Nino is, even though he's playing Akuma, nice FADC gets a bit of a interesting combo there. I don't even think that was a full combo, I'm not too sure, but... Yeah, I'm not sure either, man. Like When you, when you analyze that gameplay, Nino is essentially playing 3D Tekken, right? He's picked Akuma, how is, but... how, is, how is everybody feeling on this one, though? Like, like, he picked Akuma, fair enough, but if he wins with Akuma, like, are we gonna be happy for him? Don't we miss Nino playing with bears for, 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 for Fox's sake, you know? Unbelievable, I mean, man. I mean, like, the thing is, is, yeah, he's playing Akuma, but you're gonna have to just bear with it. <sighs> hmm. Is it just me or am I getting muted on Discord occasionally? No. No? Uh, no? No. Why? Because your voice keeps cutting out sometimes, Spongy. Oh, does it? No, oh, not on maybe my it's side. Just, maybe it's just on my side. Yeah. Yeah, not on my side. I, mean, I, hear you I both can turn the volume fine. up on my mic if that will help. But... No, 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 it's all good. No, no, it's fine. I think it's fine. It's fine. Maybe I need to change some settings on my end, but no worries about that, bro. Oh, okay. Look at this though, Oracle going with Shaheen? his main, Shaheen. Yeah, Oracle. We don't see that one too often, but Oracle is well known for his Shaheen, man. Mm. Yeah, that character just dropped off the earth at some point, I don't know. That's because he was boring as shit. <laughs> like, you've got to... <laughs> you... <laughs> obviously, obviously Oracle is one of these players, but you've got to... Slide. Yeah. You've got to, you've got to be... A certain kind of player to make Shaheen look interesting, and like obviously Oracle is one of those players that can make Shaheen look interesting. Well, what do you what do you find interesting about Shaheen? Like, what are the things that come to your mind, Spongy? You know, things like the application of like the down forward one, the slides, and um, the blooming what's that stance he has where he kind of like kind of like slides in, you know. <laughs> The Falconian stand, where he's got, where he's got that grab as well, right? I think yeah, you remember yeah, yeah. the one where he jumps on your back and you know rides your back. But, yeah. um, but the interesting but, thing about Shaheen here is like, how is he gonna make the character work? Because I feel like Shaheen takes a bazillion fucking seconds to finish a round, unless he gets like two or three combos, because he doesn't have that much damage, right? Yeah. He needs he's... to literally. What did you say earlier in the tournament? In a different situation, death by a thousand cuts, right? That's how he needs yeah. to win every single time. And like, I hope Oracle can do it, just because I find that type of gameplay very impressive. Not many yeah. players worldwide can pull it off. And especially but... against Akuma, I mean, Nino is just playing so dirty-minded here. Unbelievable, bro. Mm. 
I posted Neo's oh, setup, uh, uh, the way he plays, where he plays online quite a uh, like a few days ago, and you sh I, I'm just imagining him cramped up in his little room playing Akuma right now, man. Nino, shame mm. on you. I'm gonna show you the picture in a bit. If Oracle <laughs> can take this, of course. <laughs> it is public. Is, it is on Twitter, man. I was in his room. You wanna? The thing you is, wanna... is, you say, you say that obviously Oracle's gonna have to win through death by a thousand cuts. For the last two rounds, Oracle had been lucky to get five of those cuts in. At least now, ne um, sorry, Oracle is starting to get into his groove, but it could be too little too late as, you know, this is match point for me. I one more. It's going to finish and he does the oh, is it gonna hit? And it hits. Nice. It hits. He survives. Oracle, one round on the board. That's all you need sometimes. Let's see if he can build off of this momentum. Mm. Okay, I have a question for the Tekken experts. Can you special cancel? Um on armor in this game. No. No. Okay. Hop kick. Very nice hop kick. So with with armor moves, the most that can happen is um like it goes through Damn Oracle on game point. You might get really it, taking this, this final right final now. round. Sponchy, we need the utmost attention for these players right now. We really do. The I slightest think... of miscalculations is going to decide who's going to win and lose this. Oh, demon flip grab. I think, I think chat is time to send Oracle your energy. Well, we'll have to see and find out. One bar available for Nino in this situation. Nino. And he spends it immediately oh. into a death combo. Unbelievable, man. Why is this character in this game, bro? I'm so mad. I'm so mad I'm rage quitting commentary for two minutes. Leave me alone. To, 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 get, to put my camera away, man. I'm not I'm not I'm I'm, I'm not in the mood for this, man. Fuck you, Nino. Fuck <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, <laughs> Levon? Levon? He's, he's gone. He's you gone. Know, you know why he's gone? Yeah, he turned off his camera. He quit. This dude, he, he is not working anymore. Nino, Nino writing a chat. 2D is not fair. Okay. Why are you playing 2D characters then? I am playing 2D right now. Yeah. He's playing chess on his other stream. Such a bitch, man. Don't snitch on me, Sponchy. How dare you? <laughs> I'm not playing chess. No, he's, I'm he's actually not. 4D he's chess not. while commentating. Can somebody tell me the bracket right now? By any I chance. Can, I can do that. So, <laughs> winner's final. Oh, sorry, winner's semis. We've got Bode versus Confident Grog. And in losers round five, we've got Jakob Kass versus Nino. And Shirdle versus Masu. Hold up, Masu Masood is in the tournament and we didn't see him once. Damn. Not Masood, not Masood. Masu, um, what was it again? Masu. So it's a name is that, that I'm someone not we're familiar, familiar with? with? Yeah, that's that's what I was about to ask. I don't However, recognize the name. It's a name that I'm not familiar with. However, so they lost 2-1 to Bode. They then they then proceeded to beat Fury Lima, Dark mm -hmm. Flash, Heab, and now it looks like Shirtle is uh, could be the next to face Masu's Fury. Mm. I'm not sure Shirtle is. I don't know, man. I don't know. His Alisa has been cooking quite a bit today, mm. but against Bode it was looking quite rough. I must be honest here, man. It, it was, it was. I feel like... Because the thing is... Um, Sodium Showdown, um, big uh, tournament held in Bristol, was yesterday. And that ended quite late. So I feel like okay. Shirtle might be feeling a bit of the tournament fatigue right now. However, this is also online where you can... You know, if you're not playing, you can go and get a coffee and make some food and everything like that so yeah <clears throat> you know there's also the benefit of you know you can just take your time until your next match if you want so well, because the of the environment is, is what you're saying the environment decides how he feels about it sure yeah sure. yeah there's a good argument to make
I can't lie about that one. Yeah. Um, Before we go deeper into this, though, let's Sinjul, What's the status on the opponent? Are we being? Uh, is somebody making I us wait here, or what's the status? Masu, I sent him the friend request, but uh, mm -hmm. so far did not accept it yet. So I can't. <clears throat> oh no! No, accepted it now. So it was gonna come up in a moment. Cheryl versus Alrighty. Masu. While we're waiting, though, I do want to, again, bring everyone's attention to the Macharino codes. We still have 37 of 50 codes remaining. And remember, they are completely free to claim. All it takes is a couple clicks. You can sign in through your Twitch account, click claim code, and you've made a 25 cent contribution to tonight's prize pool for exactly. absolutely free. Matter of fact, we should get on and claim some quotes ourselves. Why not? Yeah. Let me jump on. I've, I've done my bit. Mm. You know, like in Starship Troopers, they're like, I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part, yeah. <laughs> I remember there was um, there was a tournament that I was I was at. And I was kind of... I kind of volunteered to be like TO for it and stuff. And mm -hmm. I basically said to, uh, to people like at the door, I was like, claim the Macharino and then you can come in. <laughs> Did it work? It worked. <laughs> Shut up, really? Nah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Masu playing king. No, I'm okay. curious. Let's see how this one goes, man. Yeah. Because the thing is, is okay, yeah, king is probably the, you know, king is the premier grappler character but king has a very Prem. diverse <laughs> yeah well, no keep is. going keep going don't 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 keep cooking bro i'm listening he has a very diverse play style you got some characters some characters some players that live and die by the one plus two breaks others that will play very strike heavy and only throw out the only throw out the throws when you know when they want a proper mix up for one or two whiffs unfortunately um, so it'll be interesting to see what Masu's sort of game plan is against Shirtle, especially with, you know, for all intents and purposes, a character that is... Oh my god, bruv. Fast, like, much faster than King. <laughs> Why are these guys trolling us so much, man? Cause I just see what Shirtle is doing. Like, I didn't even know fly stance doesn't realign with your opponent. You can just fly any direction he wants, away from yeah. the opponent as well, if he's backward. Well, well, here's the thing about Shirtle, with him being one of the old heads, he's still he's still one of those people that like will lab and just find out the most obscure tech for a mm. character that works in like one situation on a Tuesday afternoon. You know? <laughs> oh, I don't think it gets more obscure than that one situation on a Tuesday afternoon, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. It would oh, be like, well. oh, you know, you have to be playing on the third round, Brimstone and Fire, on a Tuesday afternoon. It has to be approximately 27 degrees, and this and this one tech will work. And, like, Shirda would be the one to figure it out. Okay, good. Giant swing break. Oh, he got him with the shoulder. I mean, the elbow. Mm. Oh, oh, no! <laughs> you gotta break those, player. You Count gotta break those. Gets counter hit grabbed. Okay, good break again. Wall bounce. Uh, uh. Oh, I think no, he's that's dead. Gonna hit. That's gonna yes, hit. Yes, sir. Oh lordy, Masu showing you how well interesting mind games and having a surprising timing read can bring you lots of leeway here. It's gonna be enough to net him a victory, though. Yeah, essentially showing Shirt or what happens when you overextend with your life lead. Okay, goes for the low this time, gets a pickup, back screw. <gasps> the unblockable setup at the wall. Okay, okay. Okay, all answers. right, let's go, man. Another punish. Oh man, Shirtle, sure, evening it out right now. Mm. Game point, game one. <gasps> okay, oh, no. standing your Press, smash one plus two, Shirtle. Sure, okay, he gets it. He mashed one plus two, he got out of it, and he gets a boot in the face too. I don't know, to compensate for all the damage is done so far. That big boot for channeling our old elf buddy Harlequist. 
Oh my god, I got no idea what you're talking about, but you're cooking something, man. <laughs> it's just that it's literally just um, oh. for Elf, the organization that we were in. Um, one of the TOs, Holocris, was uh, an Alyssa main. Yeah, okay. And one time he, in, in the Royal Rumble that we did, Holocris was like a surprise entrant. And he played um, Alyssa against Ao Richie, mind. And just opened up with that massive boot, launched Richie, and, and the entire crowd just went ballistic. <laughs> That's a bit of fucking UK history right there, man. Yeah, is man. he still around? Like, can we? Are we able to see him sometime? Um, well, well, the thing is, is that he's primarily a two D player. He primarily plays things like um, Under Night and and all of that. Oh. Wait, he, he doesn't even play Tekken, but he he pulled off one of the sickest highlights. Okay, all right, I'm getting it. I understand. I understand. Yeah, yeah. Good that's, homage. That's... Good homage done by Shardell in this situation. Then. That's why it was even better. <laughs> Oh no, really? Forgotten Realm? Oh wow. Actually no, it should happen. It should happen. I'm sorry. I don't I don't mean to be biased like that, buddy. Um I personally don't like the stage. I hate Forgotten Realm. Can you believe that? Now even though I am an is... Armor King player, I, I just yeah, you're I don't an Armor not King enjoy it. You don't like Forgotten Realm? Yeah, I, I just I don't know. It feels like like I I I can't put my finger on it exactly, like exactly what it is, but like I don't know, man. I'm not fucking with the stage. It's like too obvious, you know? Yeah, maybe it's like the, an admission of weakness, but it's like some mind game, mental mind game shenanigans, you know? Like, mm. maybe it's just a me thing. We'll have to see if it's gonna help Masu, though, because I don't know, man. Imagine you're a king player and you pick this stage with the intention of, you know, I'm gonna abuse the floors and suddenly round one, this Alisa player took away all of your floors and is about to steal the first round as well. I know, in just over 30 seconds as well. <laughs> all those floor breaks. And that's why I don't like Forgotten Realm, for fuck's sake. <laughs> it's like the pendulum can either really swing in your direction or in the other player's direction. There is no in-between with Forgotten Realm. Oh, it's too crazy, man. This stage is just uh, too much RNG involved. And I think Shardell is just capitalizing on his reads from the first match here because he clearly yeah, knows really. like what the panic moves of Masu are in this situation. Whenever yeah. whenever Shardell is coming in, you know, like asking questions, asking questions like, hey, are you feeling comfortable here? Are you uncomfortable right now? Are you going to mash? Most of the time, Masu answers the questions with things that are predictable for Shardell here. So. It's like, are you feeling comfortable? Are you gonna mash? And yeah, Masu and then Masu's going like, I think I, I think I'm gonna mash. You know, like oh, I'm no. not that comfortable. I think Shadow might have second guessed himself, trying to trying to catch on to the fact that Masu pretty much only goes for giant swing, no tombstone mix up at this point. Um, maybe try mm -hmm. to try to go for a tombstone break there. Is this gonna hit? No, it's not because he blocked. And unfortunately, Shirtle puts an Takes end it, to yeah. Masu's absolutely killer loser's bracket run. Going through Fury Lima, Dark Flash, and Heab. Unfortunately to be stopped by Shirtle, but mm. that is that's a hell of a loser's run. He beat Fury Lima. Mm. Wow, well, that is not bad, actually. That is really not bad, dude. Congratulations, Masu, on, on an amazing tournament run, actually. Yeah. Wow. I feel like... I don't know, man. Could he have gotten one match against Shodel? It, like, at, in the last round, it looked a bit like he was cooking. He was mm. working on something there. But, um... It just wasn't enough. It wasn't enough at the end of the day. Yeah, mm. and... Again. That's why I feel like, I don't know, Sinjul, how are you feeling about post-match interviews? Is it going to take up too much time sometimes if we implement those? Have you ever tested those? You those mean in lives? general? Or like just... In like, general, yeah, yeah. It, like, just like doing them in these mo tournaments. You mean mid... Like uh, mid-tournament mid -tournament or just like with if something the... super interesting. I know like, what what's the biggest time waster going to be? Like, I suppose... Um, like, getting the players in the Discord, right? Like hoping that they have a decent mic connection, that they know what's happening and they come in. Because in situations like these, I just I'm always curious what's going through the brain of these players. What are they thinking mm. about when these matches are happening? 
biggest question is usually do people even have a microphone and do they want to talk because yeah. sometimes people are yeah. like oh no nah, no nah, i don't have a microphone and i also <laughs> don't want why to did talk. you add that accent hello what was that accent player can you explain that know. one i, I think know. the best one is when um, know. you know you get, <laughs> you get somebody on you get somebody on for like a um a little post-match interview and you're like oh so you know what was going through your head and they're just like <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's the best one. And then the commentator's gotta be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much, buddy. That was a good one. Thank you, thank you. Oh, man. So I feel, I feel like, yeah, post match interviews can be very, very hit and miss. Um, also, but... sometimes players are just like, what, what did go through your mind and they're like nothing i just press buttons and you're like cool that that doesn't help or i love i loved when we did um like the top eight pre-match interviews mm. uh in challenger league and players were like yeah i'm just gonna i'm just gonna get fucked it's gonna be 10 nothing so you like you you ask them like how do you feel about playing grand final against this this player? And we're like, yeah, I'm gonna get fucked. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get washed really, really hard. There's no chance I'm gonna win. And you're like, <laughs> yeah, that yeah. is really, yeah, that exactly. Is really, that exactly. is bringing the hype. That is bringing the hype. At least nobody is bringing the loop. You know, you don't need the, the loop. what? The loop? Yeah, the you loop? don't need the loop. If it, <laughs> If it's 10-0, you don't need the loop. Uh... Oh. Wait, what the f- Spongy? I told you. Spongy, what did you do? What did you do? I told you. What did you do, Spongy? So we I, got Zito playing Marduk Miguel. Into and and Shirtle <laughs> playing Marduk. What the hell is going on? I mean, he is cooking right now with his Marduk, though. I was not expecting this one, Chief. One round up already, and Nino looks a bit flustered. However, the moment I say he looks flustered, of course he hits the back one into a combo conversion. Why not? See, um, Royal Rumble this year, Shirtle came in uh, entrant number four, I think it was, and then proceeded mm -hmm. to, you know, win 25 matches in a row. 25 matches in a row. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Who did the seeding? Who did the seeding? Yeah, exactly. T.O. T.O. No. Let's it's... not expose nobody on this one. Yeah, let's, let's oh, keep no, it it's like, it's like random seeding, but it's it's basically just 30 person winner stays on. Mm. Okay. Right now with the wall pressure here, once again, Shirdell, can he do something? Nino, nice step on the power crush. Excellent work. Yeah. Nino showing that he actually, you know, has some inclination of the uh, Alyssa? The the Marduk matchup. Some beefy Alyssa right oh, here. Oh no, most definitely. Um, I'm pretty sure Nino himself has like a TGO or TGP Marduk. Very, very sweaty players, both of these guys. Mm. Leveling up all of them, <laughs> getting all the experience here. I can say that, I know, they take it as a compliment. Some people take it as an insult. These guys, they love it. Tekken players mm. like that. They like the getting sweatier, the better. Bothered. Exactly, Damn. that's how we say it in the community. The, the sweatier, the oh. sexier you are. How to impress Tekken girls 101. Basically, just show them a list of your Tekken ranks. <laughs> how many TGOs you have, how many TGPs. Just a video recording of that one. And it works pretty well, I've heard. 50% of the time, it works. Every time. <laughs> exactly. Okay, good break from Nino, but his back's at the wall. Gotta be careful, especially with the Marduk. But you know what? I'm Nino don't care. Wow. Nino don't care about your plus frames. You don't care about your pressure. Not that much, at least. Not that much, dude. Wow. Seeing a Miguel this aggressive is kind of weird. Mm. You think so? You think yeah, so? Yeah, because of Sefi Black, probably. Yeah, I'm right? just too used to it, to Miguel backdashing all day, and doing like the the double stomp, like the the yeah. double low kicks. The funny um, thing is, 
the funny thing is that Nino's playstyle with Miguel very much suits Miguel's fighting style because obviously Miguel is very much a street brawler so it's all about throwing his weight around and just being really up in your face mm -hmm, throwing out mm -hmm. moves and just seeing what connects so I would say that like Nino is almost playing the way the developers intended Miguel to be played you know <laughs> oh, so Miguel, That's so Sefi Black yeah. is playing the game wrong. Okay, I'm just going to yeah, send him a message. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, mm. I'm send him a message. Bro, you're playing Miguel wrong. Press more buttons. Press more buttons. <laughs> Maybe instead of being the most accomplished German player, you'll be the most accomplished player in EU West if you play more aggressive then. Yeah. Fight. God knows. But, um, but anyways, game two and surprise, surprise. He gave up surprise. on the Mordor. He gave up on it, yeah. Yeah. It's just first to two, so uh, now it's series mode. And, you know, just the... Uh, <laughs> what the <laughs> hell fuck. is Get going escape. on? Just escape. <laughs> I hate this game. I love it. I'm loving it too much. But, you For know, just the Shadow's luck, random select gives him the infinite stage as well. Which is sure, you'd think it's good for Alisa because of her movement, but Miguel is pretty decent on this stage as well. Mm. Good enough to keep up. Oh, oh yo, nice yo, look at the flow there, yeah. Sure, they'll definitely ready for that one. Oh, snuffs the rage drive! Damn! Fight. Nino seemed a little bit flustered there with the, the rage drive being uh, interrupted. Oh, ready for the second hit in that situation. I feel like Sherdell has got the adaptation ready here, but Nino is still holding back a little bit. I feel like he's got a few more trump cards up his sleeve with his Miguel. Mm. When is he going to pull the trigger, if even at all? Because Sherdell right now, he's eating him alive. Two rounds up for him now. One more left, and he's going to even out the score. See, the thing is, is that I, I talk about Sherdell's experience a lot because um, he's in the UK scene, as am I. So, you know, spending a lot of time with Sherdor, mm -hmm. there is, there are quite a few players in the UK scene that have Miguel as their sub, um, as well as Arsene Benga, who is, you know, a very strong Miguel main who is known for causing a lot of upsets. So, you think um, he's going to have experience against him and feel more comfortable in the Miguel matchup? As a result yeah, of it, he, right? I think, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, exactly is what I'm trying to say. He probably has more comf more familiarity with the Miguel matchup. Who cares? Because of that. Who cares? It's going to be Ku Akuma now, anyway. Yeah. You no need to talk know, about no, Miguel. I don't know. Maybe he's going to stick it out. Like, I, uh... I mean, you know, if you, you pick Akuma again, we're just going to roast you again in the clan chat, bro. He's, he's a member of the same clan as I am, bro. TFC. Oh, he's okay, my okay. little subordinate in that clan, so. Get when ready you for more WhatsApp it. messages coming your way. When you think about it, though, this is WhatsApp messages. This is oh all or God. this is all or nothing for both players. It's <laughs> one one. Next game wins, loser is out of the tournament. I think the bear is going to come out. I think I think. Mm. I don't think. I don't think so. Hand. Not today. Not right now. Maybe for grand finals, he's going to pick the bears, but mm. he's going to pick the bears if I tell him it's one thousand euro today. <laughs> <laughs> just mention 1000 euro enough times oh, per minute and put money on that, okay. we put money on that. Damn. oh you did we could have put money on that you would have won big at big time actually well done a thousand euro so he made nino switch to panda which is actually his actual main it's not kuma it's not buma it's not luma it's panda actually the guy yeah. he identifies with the most the animal he identifies with the most. You do, yeah. Cuter like, character with less backstory, pandas, though. Panda's just a little... Panda's just a little girl. Panda's just a bicycle she's that little, you know, She's probably the, the biggest girl I've ever met in my life. If I ever mm -hmm. saw her in real life, dude. Oh, you mean she's big boned? No, Is I mean she's like literally just physically intimidating, you know? No, she's, she's just straight up a bear. <laughs> <laughs> Little girl, little girl. But like, she has the same as uh, Xiao Yu's intro. Like, how can you not love her? 
Yeah, yeah, that's that's a good point. Oh wow! <laughs> Especially with moves like that, how can you not yeah. love this character? You know, I mean, the booty bump isn't what killed Shuttle there. It was the, the wall damage from exactly. the booty bump. Exactly. Oh, oh and boy. right now. Oh no! Wow. I, mean, I think Nino oh smells blood. <laughs> Man, Shell is escaping in this. the weirdest ways today. I know. Well, I mean, it's a oh, little. Yo, yo, yo. I mean, Shurdell trying his hardest right now, as, as well as he can. Rage Drive connects, fair ah! enough. But he doesn't get his wall combo because welcome to Bear City, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Bear City. This is so stupid. This is, oh. this is so stupid. Oh my. One oh way my ticket God. straight to fucking straight to the I'm mental really asylum, really dude. What is this? I think. I don't think. I, I, yeah, that's good. That's good that Shardell won the round, guys. That means we're not done yet. There's many more scams yet to be seen in this matchup. Oh yeah. Like that. Let's see how many more. Yeah. Oh my God. I, I think that's a low period. That's fine. That's uh, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> I count uh, that as uh, skill. Uh, uh. <gasps> okay. Interrupts the glide. How did the second hit clip Shadow from like a mile away? Come on. Nice adjustment mm. from Shadow there. Oh, and the throw. Is that gonna kill? Yes, it is. Double Luigi. Final final round. Can he do it? Oh my god, the patience! Sure, Dell, well done! Doesn't get flustered by the third hit, doesn't get scammed by the hunting stance down by 1 plus 2. Yeah. How are the chainsaws still out? Oh my okay, god, Neo is just flip. spamming the down 1 plus 2, yeah. Doesn't get the uh, punish on it though, which is interesting. Oh. I. I will. I. Oh no, <laughs> not like this. Not like this. <laughs> oh, he gets a throw with a power. What is happening in this matchup, ladies and gentlemen? I this is too much for me to commentate on. I, 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 oh, the duck. holy shit! Nino holy knows shit. what's up. Oh, Nino actually using rage. Measure. He gets not, it, man. He actually fucking gets it, bro. Uh, the not scam pulling rules. a Zeon. Not pulling a Zeon. Oh my god. No, no, no. You're meeting all my dates. All my dates. If Shardell had won, I would have said, oh my days, 50 billion times. But since Nino won, I mean, I'm just glad he didn't pull. I'm just, I'm just glad he didn't pull the, pull the, pull the Zeon. That's a good way to describe it. I agree with my that. heart is beating out of my chest right now. That's how, that is how intense those last couple of seconds were. Oh, it really could have gone in anyone's favor. Hats off to Nino for pulling that out. And, you know nice stylish rage art to finish um mm -hmm. of course of course ggs to shirtle you know bringing out Nino, like forcing nino to bring out the main is uh no small feat especially if as they've been playing pretty much everybody but the bears up until the bitter end but you know such is such is the nature of tekken 7 Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Shirtle with a crispy fifth place. No. Damn. So we're getting Fourth. closer and closer, man. Fourth to... place. Fourth place, yeah. Mm. Yeah. So Shirtle ending uh, ending 2BCU week one in fourth place is something to, you know, something to smile can you, about. Can you refresh us again on the point system, um, Sinjul? After which point, after which placement do you guarantee points for the for the season again? Top eight. Basically, the entirety of top eight qualifies in this situation, in every single week. Yeah, that's the general rule. All right, all right. Yeah, you get uh, points for placing in top eight. First place gets fifteen points. Second place gets ten points. Then it is eight points for third place and seven points for fourth place seven for fourth yeah wow then five for fifth and three for seventh mm, that's it's week number one. one out of a total of ten potentially eight eight, eight qualifiers eight. and then three weeks of playoffs oh man not too shabby 
Not too shabby, if I dare say so myself. Yeah, it depends on the prize pool. The boys need to... <laughs> boys no, you've got eight to chances to... To get shit done, basically, dude. Oh, that's what you mean. Yeah. Eight chances, man. Except that if you were... Uh, yeah. yeah. Just, uh, just, just don't be a Negan main, then you gotta get your piss done, I guess. Just don't be a... Why did you say, Sinjul? Can you repeat that one again? You gotta get just your piss done, not your shit. <laughs> you gotta get your, your shit in your piss or something like that. I don't know what you said. Something among those lines, you know, like, let us not focus on the details and, and this Something and among us. Among us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Among that us. definitely did not make me cough up everything I had in my, in my throat. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we, got the, we got the next match up here. Um, Bode versus Confident Grog. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely one of the matchups I've seen in my life. Mm, between these two guys in particular, I'm a bit confused why Bode isn't picking Julia. I can't lie, man. I know he's Maybe... confident in his Leo. He likes his Leo very much. Mm. It, because it is a, one of his stronger characters out of his entire roster, but... I want to see Julia again, especially against a character like Ho Rang. I feel like Julia would do wonders. I feel like, <laughs> excuse me, um, I feel like it could be a case of Bode just sort of seeing how he fares against Grog Swarong, and you know, should he fare badly, then yeah, he'll switch to uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. switch to old Miss Chang. But it looks like. It looks like that doesn't need to be the case right now, with Bode being yeah. two rounds up in a very convincing manner. I want to see what Grok does here if he wants to take this yeah. win. I know he's put in a lot of effort in the Leo matchup itself, but um, it's just not a matchup where you can just... like it, it. Just on paper knowledge doesn't help you much in these situations. You need to know a lot about the player as well. Hmm. What their tendencies are, what moves they like to use, what do they do, what moves they like to abuse, matter of fact, or underuse, overuse, any kind of use case scenario here. And I hope this first match, even if Grok loses this, is gonna give him enough intel to catch on to some of the habits that Bode is displaying yeah. here, because right now Grok did not find any solutions that could have netted him a victory. So. Yeah, and like you were saying, you know, just sort of. Using using that match, even though Grog lost that match, using mm -hmm. it as intel, you know, you think about it, that last bit where um, Bode used back K and K to then get a counter hit, mm -hmm. you know, that's ammo in Grog's, um, you know, quiver of how do I beat Bode, you know, that's one thing, you know, that he's now going to watch out for next match. When he goes into back you know. K and K, he might be patient. <laughs> Mm. This is when we find out that Grog has a Negan as well. The in it that will be like the highlight of the evening for me, if we do see that. Another Negan. After fighting so many himself, Grog has decided to join the club. He got the memo yeah. at least once. If he can't beat him, join him. Hell yeah. Hmm. We don't know. We don't know. Sticking with the Huarong, going for Island Paradise this time round. Okay. Interesting pick. Floor, uh, sorry, balcony break. Uh, nice, nice walls. Obviously, with the balcony break, there is a lot of open space afterwards. Um, but it'll be interesting to see what Grog's game plan is, especially with this stage. Same situation again, Bode pressuring with the Leo, down forward one to one four, constantly in his face, which is very uncharacteristic when playing against mm. the Horang, because Horang is notorious for having immensely good keep out. His down forward two alone is like a massive, like, screw you in the face of like, get off me, leave me alone, don't touch me. But Bode Sorry, doesn't Levan, care. did you just see that sidestep magic four from Bode? I mean, describe it to me, describe it to me, Spongey. How well, he sidestepped and then magic forward. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he basically just read, he read Grog's um, launch, sidestep mm. and magic forward him to get a nice counter hit launch himself. And it got him the round as well. 
If it was counter it, then he must have intercepted something that was already happening. Yeah. Mm. Not as a whiff punish, but as an like like you said, counter it interruption there. Is that the first round Grok got on the board? I believe that so. That is in fact the yeah. You're right. That is the first round that Grok has gotten against Bode uh, in this set. Mm. But really piling on the pressure. Gosh, Bode really forcing Grog to just... Essentially just saying, push a button. I dare you. I dare you. Nice oh. back three from Grog. Sidewall. Oh my gosh, Bode three responding three. right back though. Mm. Are we going to get anywhere with this? Grog's back is to the wall. Again. Heavy pressure. Heavy pressure. What's going to happen? Are we going to see a throw? Oh, Sweet Bang ah, gets blocked, and that's going to be round number done, two for nicely Grog. Nicely done. All right. I like what I'm seeing here. I can see the adaptation from Grog. Mm. Is he going to start cooking now? Down 3-4 pressure, coming in hot. Oh, oh gets clipped. Gets clipped. Back 4-2. Doesn't carry on the combo. I think Bode wants, wanted to, oh um, you know, to just keep it on this uh, side of the... Bam, 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 boom. Just like that. Simple bam. job. Boom, bop, bada, bop, boom, pow. I couldn't have said it better myself, Spongy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Both players oh, really I'm turning up the heat now. Like, you, that's man. amazing, man. You do? That's, that's, that's sick, dude. I appreciate that. I missed it as well. I can't lie. So, mm. winner semis. It's one all. Bode is one. Uh, it's Bode's choice, character or stage. If you were Bode, what would you do? In this situation, I would just stick it out with the Leo. I can't lie, man. Yeah. It was too much of a close nail biter to be like, ah, maybe go with Julia on this one. Like, there is no reason for Bode to not feel confident in this matchup right now. Mm. He's been smashing it. So maybe he's gonna go for a stage select here. A stage select could be good. Could maybe the one be, where they played be. on last time. God knows. Oh, Julia! And Cave of Enlightenment. Okay, floor wow. break, balcony break. Many options available to him, but the character switch is... That's a mm. curious case, man. I am not fully sure if that's the best option he could have gotten here. But, um... It's up to Brode, Brode to prove me wrong on this one, man. Yeah. I'm sure he can do it. Alternate universe Bode, Brode. <laughs> <laughs> Just always walking around with like a cold beer in hand. Like... See, the, the, the thing I'm kind of thinking of is that I feel like Huarang's keep out tools almost fare better against Julia than they do against Leo. Hmm. Why? Do you think because Julia has to dash in a lot more? I yeah, Julia does have like to dash in a lot more. Relies on things like lashing arrow at distance. You know, mm -hmm. see the high, knows it's coming, confident Grog ducks it, gets a nice punish. That's why I'm very curious because the same way Bode was punishing Confident Grog with the quick sidestep into like a magic four, what you said last round. Now Confident Grog returning the favor fully in this situation. Yeah. Absolutely ready with every single whiff punish Bode presents to him. Confident Grog is gonna take those opportunities. Yeah, exactly. Abusing those plus frames. Oh, pressure time once again. Uh, this could be Bode the final wall this. pressure situation, but no, Bode fighting back, can can. In Damn, your face. Long ass combo there from Bode. I'm as long as it Bode... gets the job done, you know, whatever it takes. I'm noticing Bode going for a lot of wind roll, you know, shotgun mix ups. And mm -hmm. they're almost, you know, going for shotgun into a cancel when Grog's not pressing anything. It's almost like he's. You know, he's putting himself into a minus situation for no reason. Mm. 
Once again, another one of the questions we shall never answer because Confident Grok takes it over Bode in this situation. Moving on yeah. to winner's finals, if I'm correct. No, yep. not yet. Uh, it is first to three, guys. <laughs> winner's oh. semi is first to three? It is winner's finals. Oh. It says winner's semis in. Oh. I've been misinformed. Never mind. I heard, I heard winner's semi. Somebody said winner's semi. Do you know semi. why? Do you know why? It's because I'm looking at the bracket and it says semi finals. But then. Oh, you trust the, the challenge. It's because the bracket on challenge also takes the reset into account. Oh, okay. So this is my this mistake. Is it is, in no fact, worries, winner's no worries, finals. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, even though uh, confident Grog, you know feeling himself, feeling quite confident. Um, you know, 2 1 up right now. Bode still has a chance to not only even the score, but also take the set entirely. And he goes back to the Leo. We're going to Souk, so smaller stage. Might be might be a little bit detrimental to both characters' wall carry. Um, but you know. Two character specialists, Leo Huarong. We're going to have to see just how they adapt their game plan to this smaller stage. Hmm. I'm glad we're getting to see the Leo again in this situation. I feel like Mori was cooking much, much more with him. I can't stress that enough. I want to see him do it once more, once Ooh. again. The Julia was definitely not the solution in that situation. Mm. However, Grog... This kid is cooking right now. Hmm. If you are a big fan of horror and gameplay, ladies and gentlemen, I would recommend watching this because Grog is... He's putting oh, on a the clinic. Pack three. Damn, yeah, like, he's putting all the crazy st stuff out on the table, man. Anything he can do. Damn, Skyrocket! <laughs> okay, nice interrupt from Bode, but unfortunately wasn't enough and Grog gets the round. Currently on set point. Can Grog pull it out? Oh, oh nice swift punish by Confident Grog. Like Look at him get him to the wall now, get the juicy damage, just mm. like that. And the final mix up to wow. seal the deal. Why? Just. Okay, before we talk about Horang, congratulations to Confident Grog. He is moving on to winners to grand finals now, correct? Yeah, moving on yes. to grand finals now. We got that one right, finally. Good stuff. Good job, team. Um, moving <laughs> on to grand it. finals, gonna wait, gonna have to wait for the winner of the losers final match here between mm. Bode and the person whoever is gonna meet. I suppose it's gonna be Nino. I'm not fully sure yet though. Yes, um, it is. You are correct. Good that shit, man. Is good correct. shit. Oh, bring um, in the saxophone horse. You know what? Let's let's bring in this one again, dude. <laughs> 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 Why not? <laughs> Why the fuck not? <laughs> Um, <laughs> I thought we take breaks before grand finals or top three or some shit like that. We don't do that no more in 2VCU. I no, miss we those have, days. We don't have any sponsors, so fuck it. There's no more need to take fuck breaks. Fuck it, we ballin'. We ballin'. Do you know why we don't take breaks anymore? Do you know why we don't take breaks anymore? Because the one time Sinjil cut to the commentator's cam during the break. Oh yeah, my man was... <laughs> I was, was napping on the job, yeah? I heard. I was asleep <laughs> on my chair. That's what happened during the break, and that's why we don't have breaks anymore. That's how no, it goes sometimes, really ladies and gentlemen. Man's gotta have his nap, you know? Man's gotta have his sleeping time. <laughs> this, was, why not? This, was, this was my previous job where I was coming, I was like arriving home like 20 That is a smart we job though, like, because live. Spongy, listen up, man. Like offline, if you go to more offline tournaments, a few bigger ones, people do take quick naps before they go onto the stage. Did you know that? Yeah, yeah, like, I the, know. Like the, the I know. beauty sleep buff is actually real. I, I swear down on that. Like I was people at, the, I was at nap, versus like, fighting mm -hmm. in... Uh, you know, August, and there were some people that were literally just walking around with a pillow so that they can, you know, just Power find nap. an area, get a quick 20 minutes in, and then... <laughs> okay. <laughs> really? Nah. Yeah. Nah, I don't believe it. Really? Like in a fucking anime, like walking around with a pillow. That's my well, napping not, not pillow, I need it. pillow, but like a bed pillow, you know? <laughs> just walking around with the pillow so they can find a spot 
get a very, very quick nap and then be all refreshed for like, you know, winner semis. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure that strategy worked out wonders when they made it into the imaginary top eight of no tournament ever in human history, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, no need to throw shade. Anyway, let's commentate the match. <laughs> I heard blanket tech is actually pretty good though. I'm not sure people use it for naps nowadays though. I saw, so oh, I mean, I saw somebody covering their hitbox, not their hitbox, but their fight stick with like an Amazon package. <laughs> that was a pretty good one, yeah. That was one of the more notorious ones, I can't lie, the Amazon package. It is more mm. notorious than just having a piece of fucking fabric covering your <laughs> covering your knees mm. while you're doing god knows what um, under it, but... Is there a way we can show Twitter on the stream, Sinjul? Yeah, sure. I can show it in the browser window, yeah. If you ever want to, like, let me show you something. Okay, Wait, feel free to keep nice on commentating, Sponchy, while I'm looking something up. Yeah. Uh, okay, fair enough. Bodo getting some nice, juicy damage on that launch there. A lot of spacing coming out, and uh, do you know what? I'll be honest, with Nino, sometimes, or a lot of the times, especially against these smaller waifu characters, the demon flips aren't always the best option, because one forward dash, or one, you know, one little sidestep, and, you know, you're in the worst position possible. So, Nino, I think, <laughs> needs to be a bit more weary of when to do a demon flip mm. right there was a good right there was a good uh good shout more shotgun mix-ups not too bad of oh. an opportunity if i do say so myself yeah yeah just shy of the uh fadc uh when he got the down three into fireball just then but you know he's got nearly full meter now in the time that i've said that could be banking on. There we go. There's oh the my God, he still Nino. Has one left. Should he need it? Very nice. Very nicely timed from Nino there. Wow. Oh my God, Bode, you need to do something though. Spicy things are about to happen here. Nino has got one bar available, and can he do something? Again with the shenanigans that come from from Demon Flip. Okay, Bone Arrow. Another bow and arrow. Good float, very good float. What's the damage? Uh, uh, mix, mix. No mix, mid. Oh, jumps Hello. over the bow and arrow once again. Let's go. Demon flip, unbreakable grab. Okay. See these shotgun, these shotguns into nothing. I feel like, I feel like Bode's being a little bit too respectful here. You know, you've got to... Sometimes you got to play... Oh, wow! Just like that, he gets him in his face. The Tatsu, you can never forget about it. Did I just say Tatsu? Apologies. I meant... Rank and the punch. Demon Upper God. Sinjo, oh, yes, what's the mean... Street Fighter terminology? Like, what? The Tatsu is the Gen kick, one. right? Tatsu the is kick. the kick, and then the uppercut is DP. The Demon Rank and Punch! Uppercut. Dragon Punch! Or uh, Shen Long, if you are, if you are right. so inclined. I've probably heard that fucking notation like 50 billion times, right, in any kind of tournament environment in Tekken 7. But for some reason, it doesn't want to go into my brain. My brain yeah. does not accept any information that is Street Fighter related. I'm sorry, guys. But do you know the pretzel? Do you know the pretzel? I got no yeah, idea you, what the pretzel. You've is. got to know the pretzel. Sorry. That's your, that's your raging storm input. Yeah, the pretzel, because it's down yeah. back. Half circle back, down forward. That's yeah. kind of like tying back, a pretzel. Half circle. Oh, yeah. Wait, down so back. it's known. It's known. Oh, as it's pretzel. like a figure eight. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think. No. So you go down back, forward, half circle back, down forward. Yeah, like a figure eight. Infinite infinity symbol is what you're drawing essentially, right? If you go back to neutral. Okay, we'll go to the yeah, commentator. Okay, we'll go to okay. the commentator cam after this. After this. After this game, and I'll like demonstrate it. Sure, we could do that. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Sponchy <laughs> just some, showing some a picture Some Street Fighter tech on the Tekken stream, bro. Well, it is uh, KOF. That's KOF. It's not Street Fighter. Yeah, it's Street it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a geese input yeah. for uh, Raging Storm. 
Mm. Oh, it doesn't get all the way to the wall, unfortunately, but look at the damage that Nino has done. Another punish in your face. However, oh, the life no, deficit here is not looking it? too well. Damn. Yeah. Um, another down three. These down threes are really giving Nino a lot of damage, a lot of mileage. Uh, again, more demon flip shenanigans, but does it again and gets a float all the way to the wall. Uh, 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 uh. Oh no, the FADC into the heavy attack. The heavy attack? Are you really yeah. switching over to Street Fighter terms or like what? what yeah, what's because happening? I don't know the inputs for Akuma on on uh, attack. Oh, you meant focus attack. Sorry, sorry. No, no, no worries. Yeah, keep going with the Street Fighter terms though. That's good. That's good. Yeah. I think you're cooking up something here. Oh, gets the first kick of the hop kick, but not the second. Nice break. Down three. Mm -hmm. Or oh, was that down four? It, oh, yeah, it's heavy, so it's down four. Um, <laughs> see, I have to use Street Fighter terms when Akuma's on screen, just because I don't know. I don't know his inputs. I mean, for now, all you need to know is that DP is saving Nino in a shit ton of situations right here. Oh yeah. The jump over oh, is always doing massive demon work. Flip again. Either flipping over Julia or right <laughs> into her moves in into a, a counter Holy. launch. Just do Why it not? again! Just do I'm it not again. seeing oh. a little anti-air from Bode's side here against the jump overs. That's the main problem yeah. here. He's getting the can-can in quite a few times, but it's not enough for now. He needs something more concrete. Oh! Fair enough. Fair enough. That works. Should Bode win this round, he's going to even the score. It's going to be 2-2. Two, two. Has two chances at getting that score evener. Oh, more shredder kicks. In your face. All right. Well, Let's can, see the conversion kicks, here. Whatever you want to call them. Nice stomp. Oh, the cancel into bow and arrow. Oh, classic. no. Oh, my God, Nino. Into the Northern Lights suplex. Nino the classic dies. shenanigans. Nino dies. was not ready for it. I don't, I don't think he's going to be very happy about that one. Dude, he had a full stick of butter, didn't spend any super bar. That's not I the way like, to go out. I feel oh, like it's yeah. one of those things where, yeah, he's playing Akuma, but you kind of think, like, you know, because it's Tekken, you're not going to be so used to having the meter to spend, you know? We ain't in Tekken 8 just as yet. I told him to keep on playing the Akuma, so let's see how that one goes. So, uh, Sinjal, if you go to, to say the, that on stream, like, I don't know. If you go to the commentator's screen for a second. Oh, wait, yeah. One sec. Yeah, now. Go ahead. So, so the the pretzel motion, it's called a pretzel motion because you think about it. You start here, then you go here, mm -hmm. half circle back, down forward. Right? Yeah. So, figure yeah, eight. Sense. A figure eight is more that. But a pretzel, you know, you start here and you go. Wait, do it again. Do it again for the fan. Why not? You're here and then here and then e e e e Kind of like that. I don't know. Or Something just, along those lines. Or you just do it like me and you just do like two half circle back and then down forward. Oh, that's interesting. The well. long cut. The long cut. That one works. Yeah, it worked. Oh, what is going on? <laughs> My man is actually playing a platformer right now with the amount of jumping he's doing. Yahoo! I'm telling you, man. Wow, like, wow, wow, wow. can turn into a lazy man's character with all those yeah. jump-ins you can do in neutral at any time. If your opponent is respecting it too much, there is literally no negative side effect to doing it other than you looking stupid. Yeah. I think at this point... Oh, Spring Kick goes over Nino this time. Into the heavy PP. He doesn't even try to do all optimal combos. He knows he doesn't need it for now. Yeah, he I, 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 I'm to. not sure. I know Nino is a class member of mine, but I feel like I want Bode to, I don't know, put a bit more pressure onto him. Like, you know, put him in his place. Yeah, you want, you want Nino to work for, your for it. Yeah. Oh, work again for it. Again with more. the throw. Down four. Down three into Demon Flip. 
really putting the pressure on Bode, but Bode gets a low parry and a nice bit of damage for his combo for his troubles. Doesn't get all the party crashes, but gets mad axes instead. Nice guaranteed damage there, Bode. Evening the score, one round apiece. Mm. Oh, again. Down force connecting in your face. Mm. Nice punish on the can can, you know, ready this time. That's that's what shows me that Bode is uh, he's not reacting per se to the jump every single time. He tries to predict it as well. Because he's doing the can can sometimes even when no jump is happening, you know. He's trying to guess mm. the situations. Oh and nice right now, wow. see there. So that's gonna, gonna get to the wall. Uh, I think uh. so. Very nice. Don't even need to do anything fancy there. And Nino on match point. Another throw. Is he going to do it again? No, he's going to go for the kick. Oh, these these can cans are really going to. They're really going to come back to bite Bode in the butt at some point. The damage definitely adding up over time here. Mm. While running shenanigans, Mino spent one bar, but immediately timed it well with another one to go along with it. Okay, bow and arrow. And just oh, like oh, that. The FADC gets He's Nino. Got to spend it, bro. What? Wow. Just wow. FADC gets Nino the round, the game, the set, and the match. Not yet, though. Not yet. He's still got one more, one more game to go if he wants to win this fully. I think. Oh yeah, this is. Uh, yes, loses, it is first to loses, three. Loses final. Not fully over for Bode yet. But, My um, bad. I have lost all sense of time. <laughs> Don't worry, it's just a regular Tekken bracket. It's just uh, the usual. Oh my god, it is. What is it? First to three, it is midnight. Oh, well, today it's only. It 10 is nowhere PM. near midnight, Sindel. That it's excuse doesn't cut it yeah. for you, buddy. It's yeah, Sponchi is cheating here, anyway. Man. Sponchi is cheating anyway. He's living in the UK, so it's nine oh, yeah, instead of ten. And then. Oh, but we need Freon. We need Freon. Oh yeah, Freon with the fucking uh, it, it demon hours like, tech, bro. Dude, like in losers finals, 12 a.m. and Freon on the side. Yeah, it's yeah, 2 a.m. over a. here. <laughs> I gotta be a bit more quiet. Just to what oh, we're oh, saying. Man. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Oh man, I remember one tournament where we went until 1 a.m. and he's like, "Yeah, I gotta work tomorrow, but it's only 3 a.m. right now." It's, like, it's just oh, 3 a.m. Okay. over here. Well, I'm like, what? <laughs> Are you <laughs> kidding me, man? I, yeah, what? it's just 3 a.m., you know, gotta, gotta stay on the grind, you know, Luan. Sure, why I, not, man? I don't, I don't even you. know how you commentate until 3 a.m. Not not gonna <laughs> lie, I don't know how you do that. I would have been, I, I would have fallen asleep big time already. Oh, man, some people are just built different, man. And uh, some, some commentators in the 2BCU League are definitely built in a very original and different way, man. That's oh, why... I'm always gonna follow Challenger League, whatever happens. For the players, as always, sure, but just for the people on the camera, like, getting new talent to show up here and, you know, do their thing, essentially, with Sinju giving them the stage here to perform, to try themselves out, try different techniques, that's always amazing to watch, so. Yeah. This one will always be a, a fun place in my heart for that, man. Well, Stop I this mean... sentimentality, though. Fuck that. I'm sorry. Let's get back to it after the tournament. Uh, stop the, hey, let me stop the my, Let me get my shit in. Let me get my shit in. Oh, you got something to say? All right, let him cook. Let him cook, man. Let him cook. Yeah. Right. When I was, well, I was just going to say, when I was starting out commentary, um, like, looking for, like, just literally anybody that were that was looking for new commentators. And I saw, oh, yeah, you know, there's this, there's this 2BCU organization that's, like, you know, always happy to have people jump on the mic and stuff like that. So I thought, yeah, I'll try it. And it's genuinely some of the most fun that I've had commentating you know for any online event so and that's why like whenever challenger series is coming up i'm always just like yeah get me in there coach because because <laughs> i'm always gonna have time for 2bc even even if i'm working a job where i where i come home like 20 minutes before we go live and i have to sleep during the breaks That's getting experience to commentate is one thing, but getting the privilege to commentate in an environment where the player matches, you know, 
the quality of the matches gives you the opportunity to show off yourself as a commentator. You don't get that very often, so... Mm. If anybody's an up-and-coming commentator, I highly suggest try this for yourself. Get the experience in. Because I sure as shit know Sinjo is gonna give you the opportunity at least once! If you fuck it up, though, you're gonna get blacklisted. <laughs> I'm not gonna elaborate what that means. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whatever Getting that means. Fired. Yeah. <laughs> Um, the Shadow Illuminati is gonna get you. No more gigs for you, buddy. Guys, you fuck it up here, you fuck it up everywhere. I know it is, but it's Akuma for fuck's sake, man. Nothing we ain't seen before, Ooh, man. So if Bonnie makes his comeback, though, so that's gonna be something. EP? Adukit? Are we gonna what see is it again? Be? Nope, I, don't, I think Bode's got this. No! I think Bode's got this, actually. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, yep. I wonder if he wanted to do the timer scam, it was just three seconds on the clock. If that was like, mm. if, if he wanted to just get Mita or if he actually played the clock I a think bit the commentary early. tech worked because since we were just talking random stuff not related to the match, we kind of confused Nino's brain into aye, aye. not going for aye, the kill, aye, but right aye. now, Spin to win. I told you guys, the moment you give him attention, that's where he pops oh. off. So, I, I, good job, <laughs> Nino. Well done with your crazy Akuma. So original, so phenomenal, yay! Crazy. I'm sure Bode is not like slapping new dents into his desk right now as we speak, man. The the thing is though that over the course of this tournament, Nino has been getting more and more comfortable with Akuma as the tournament has gone on, right? So like only being forced to switch out from Akuma by one person really, and that's Shirdle. Hmm. He's been playing Akuma for, I would say, most of this tournament. We were at the very start talking about how, oh, you know, he's, you know, he's dropping combos or he's not optimizing or anything like that. Now he's really in, you know, he's feeling himself. He's a lot more confident and comfortable with playing Akuma. He's warmed up. He's warmed up, basically. So what you're saying is you think he's going to stay with Akuma for the reset? I think he's going to stay with Akuma for the reset. I think the mm. only thing that's going to happen is, say, Confident Grog takes the first game, then he's going to switch to Bears. But if he... You know, if mm -hmm. he... Oh, he picked Panda versus... Nino, don't... I'm hyping you up, man. <laughs> <laughs> Players like, nah. Nah, stop it. <laughs> don't hype me, please. I don't like... <laughs> But oh no, oh no, he's he, he, he's posting, he, he's shit posting in, in chat. Characters for you in Severity. Okay, what's it gonna be? Geese? Gonna be Miguel. He's just asking Oof. around. Anna. Anna. Damn. Nino is just having a fun exhibition right now. That's good, I suppose. That's pretty good. <laughs> just picking the characters he enjoys the most. Mm. No, he's, I mean, let's he's, see. I mean, the Anna is TGO, so <laughs> it won't, yeah, it so won't like, you know, he knows it. Pointing. Yeah, he's just pleasing his fans in grand finals, picking fan favorite characters such as Akuma, fucking Bob, Anna. Anna. Yeah, the characters everybody loves. Sure, the gays. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Oh, but gets down forward too by Grog. It's gonna go to the wall and uh, 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 uh. KO. Round two. Oh, main. Oh, main. Dangerous. Oh, nice block there from Nino. Come on, aggression. Get ready for Tekken 8, guys. We want aggression. <laughs> None of this backdash and malarkey. In this case. Hmm. Ooh, oh, CJ the trade! Cancel. No benefit for either of the players here. Mm. Oh, big whiff. Mm. Not so sure about that one, Chief. Gets him to the wall, but no conversion in this situation. But... Oh, Grog staying confident. I like it. Can he get the round, though? What's the mix? 
There ain't no mix you're gonna take in this situation, player. Good stuff, Grog. Two rounds up. Maybe you can punish Nino for being a bit cocky in the reset here. Bam, bam. Oh. Oh. Damn. Damn, damn. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, big counter hit. Gets the conversion. Not gonna go to the wall, but it's gonna get damn close. Okay, goes for the flip flap mix ups. I have no idea what to call them, I just call them flip flaps. <laughs> that's a cool way to call it. Oh lordy, the rage oh, art gonna is going to connect. Yes sir, yes it is. And um, my guy is going to have to open wide for a big ass rocket and Huarong has just been killed. <laughs> um, <laughs> I always find that rage art so hilarious because it's like, my man is straight up dead. Open wide. Yeah. Open wide <laughs> rocket. <laughs> oh. Oh, no conversion here. Nice punish on the power crush. Fair enough. What was that? I didn't even see the I didn't even see the counter it. I did not even see it. Like wh yeah, what happened? Either, there? Actually. How did he launch him there? I don't know. I feel I feel like I kind of just got like erased. In times like from that, that I memory. wish like more tournaments had like a replay feature or shit like that, man. That would be phenomenal. Mm. Oh, when when Bob had like the the replay stuff at the end of the at the end of the matches, that was yeah, that yeah, was yeah. golden. <laughs> Those were pretty good. I can't lie, man. Mm. Oh, nice! Oh, Stuck nice. into the waifu punish on the whiplash. Nino, aware of the situation. Grog, not so much. <gasps> nice tech roll. Oh, very oh. close. Not enough to survive the round. Mm. But, you know, Nino picking, uh... <laughs> Nino picking, uh, Anna for Insanity. And, you know, getting, getting game one from it as well, so... <laughs> I feel like... It was a pretty nice gesture, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, very, very nice gesture, but now Nino's actually locked in with the Anna for now. While Grog has a choice of, uh, stage pick. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. might pick something that is to Anna's detriment. Maybe a smaller I stage. I don't know. Is he typing something in the chat again on some cocky basis? Like what what's happening? Uh Well, uh, is mm. Nino saying something? I don't know. Nino is saying silent. ah down back three. I'm gonna try again. Ha 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 ha. Alright. Well then stay stay cheeky like that I, I suppose. Stay cheeky Nino. Good stuff bro. <laughs> okay, Juan, I don't know what to say to that, man. God going it. for the Vermilion Gates, but what's the point in paying this stage? Because, like, no one's playing Kunimitsu, so why? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. One of those curious cases of questions that are not easy mm -hmm. to answer. Now, you can see the, the gates on either side of the stage that are vermilion colored yes <laughs> yeah. i feel like that might be where the stage got its name from mm. you might be onto something you might be cooking spongy <laughs> oh good side step but no punish nice while standing launch into rage drive into the Oh, doesn't go for the step or the booty bounce. Damn. All right. Oh, Grog, come on now. Gets another counter it in. I don't think Nino is going to get much work done with the Anna if he plays playing like that. Oh, nice counter hit. That's mm. the thing. If you don't know Anna's strings, you can get blown up really easily. Because she has a fair few strings that can do big damage on counter hit. Yeah. But at the same time, she's very committal. She kind of has to stay with those strings sometimes. And if your player, if your opponent is patient, oh, that can be bad news. But very even right now. Oh, spoke too soon. Grog gets a back three and a lot of damage here. Puts himself in back turn. Okay, oy, and oy, oy. evens the score, 1-1. One, one.
pretty Nina now has the chance Brock to switch here. to Akuma if he wants. Mm -hmm. I don't think he will, though. I don't think he will. You should just read up on the chat messages in the 2BCU channel and... Uh, I think you'll you'll get a good indication of like I don't know what what to expect. I think Nino is gonna be a people's pleaser for the entirety of the winner's reset. Oh no! If he, if he's even gonna get that one, to be fair, we don't know. We're not sure. Where? Where is? Which channel are you on about? The 2BCU Twitch channel. Oh, the Twitch. <laughs> I was looking in the Discord. <laughs> I wasn't talking. No, no, no. I just meant the Twitch channel on the 2BCU thingy. Wait, people actually writing in our Twitch chat? Oh my god. Nani? Oh really? my god. Yeah. It's crazy. That's... <laughs> I told you he was going to switch to the Akuma. <laughs> yeah, he also told us in Twitch chat. <laughs> I can't read German. Round one. <laughs> That's why I said, uh, just just keep track of that, and Nino's gonna reveal all of his plans. <laughs> I did that to Shadow once. I told him I was gonna down forward two at the start of the round, <laughs> and then I <laughs> really? just launched him. Oh, nice idea. <laughs> you played some extra extra spicy mind games on his ass. Yeah, man. That double triple bluff. <laughs> the double triple quadruple in your face. Yeah. Hot dog chili pepper bluff, yeah. Oh, see these demon flips. All it takes is a little bit of movement and Nino is not in a very good position. And the thing is, Grog with Huarang has back turn moves. Back turn is a stance for, for Huarang, so Mm -hmm. It's not exactly the best predicament for Nino to be in. Oh yeah, that's a good analysis. You're right. Okay, cancels into fireball. Eats a oh, back yo, yo, three yo. though, it's gonna go to the wall. Uh, uh, uh. And a mid for his troubles. Oh, okay, gets to down four. Pay attention to the meter, guys. At the wall as well. Some spicy shit could be happening here, but Nino is playing ultra weird. I'm not sure what he's fishing for mm. in that situation. Oh, no punish on the on the back four. There we go. There's the FADC to the wall. Ah, 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 ah. Damn. And just like that, he gets himself another round. Mm. On the boardy. As he should. Okay, down four. Oh no, there was a launch, but there was no conversion, unfortunately. <laughs> Good duck from Nino. Gonna go to the wall with this one, it looks like. Side splat. No, okay, gets the full wall combo. Full meter again. Pay attention, pay attention. And just don't like need that. it this round. Going into a final round with two bars of meter available is... Mm. Uh, I would not be as confident as the name of Confident Grog suggests, but... He is cooking right now, like Nino. Gotta be careful, man. Are you gonna get the oh, chance no, to do anything here? Spends oh, uses both FADCs for nothing. Hel hello? What happened there? Oy, oy, oy. Oh, oh, the rage to finish it out. And Nino is going to get another game on the board. <gasps> no, no, not yet. Though. I spoke too not soon. Yet. Down three. Are you gonna jinx it, Spongy? Is that what's gonna happen here? <gasps> and confident croc uh... makes it two one. And damn, I really should not say things sometimes. That was a professional great jinx. Well done, man. That Good job. Was, yeah, man. I'm. My 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 skills are evolving. Oh, how the fuck did Grog make that comeback? Unbelievable. That is, God, that is just. That that all I can really say is that 
that definitely just happened. Yeah, yeah, that definitely just happened. <laughs> That's the only way I can describe what just like what just unfolded. Get mm. the raging demon, you know, post combo. Magic pixel, pretty much. It just, you know, it was it was Nino's game. It was Nino's game to lose at that point. And then he did. Yeah, that's the part that flabbergasts me personally. I can't lie, dude. The mm -hmm. fact that he still lost after that with that much life deficit on the table. I'm not sure, like, a, a player of Nino's caliber would have actually known that that rage art would not have killed. I'm pretty sure about that. Once you reach the amount of playtime a player like Nino or Confident Grok have in Tekken, which is around 10,000 hours, don't get me wrong, this is a very mm. specific number, <laughs> able to look it up on Steam as well. Once you're in that situation, you're very familiar with these types of things that can happen, so... Very weird for Nino to not be ready for that. But very good for Grok, on the other hand. That's the momentum he might be able to need here to deny Nino the ability to formulate a reset. I just love how Nino wrote in Twitch chat, okay, fun is over, it's enough. <laughs> Switch to Panda. <laughs> I mean, let's see if it works. His Panda is his strongest character. Mm. Out of all of his characters, by a long shot. And oh, not many players have figured oh. out a solution on how to beat his Panda consistently yet. Mm. This could be an opportunity for Grok to show himself that he is one of those people that can do it. And technically he doesn't need to do much, right boys? He just needs to win one FT1 and he's got the reset. The yeah. Denied, essentially. So, dangerous situation for Nino, but very confident from his side as well to mm. commit to that. Now bearing in mind, yeah, Grog only needs to win this game. Nino However, like right now win. it's not looking like it though. <laughs> we we got to add that one as, as a side note, of course. Grog only needs, at the moment, Grog only needs to win, I say this game, he just needs to win one game. Nino needs to win two more to get the reset and then mm. needs to win three more games. He's got one on the board right now, so the score is currently 2-2, two, two. okay? Oh, yeah. Just Can like that, Nino, Nino got it, I mean... I mean, if, if he carries on like that, then it looks like Nino's going to get the reset fairly easily, but I don't think Grog's going to go out without a fight. So... Hmm, yeah. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? I don't know. <laughs> Couldn't tell ya, but what I can tell ya is Grok's definitely gonna stay on the whole rank. That's something oh, yeah. we know, right? Confirmed. Nino's gonna be rocking the panda because, you know, he won the match. He doesn't have a choice. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like it's gonna be a small stage. What will make you guys more happy? If Grok wins this or Nino wins this? Which one would you hype more? What would make you happier? See, it would be it would be very hype if Nino wins and you know just <laughs> takes it all the way. However, <laughs> yeah, be honest, just be honest with me, boys. However, yeah, I, I do want to go to sleep. <laughs> so like I just, I just had to laugh because Nino, you know, like you asked, who do you want to win? And Nino writes in Twitch chat, Nino. He's like, <laughs> <"Yeah."> <laughs> He's like, oh, you're such a simple sweetheart, Nino. I love you, man. We love you, Nino. Oh. Okay. Well, good at least we know his answer to that question. That's good to know. It'd be even funnier if Nino wrote Brock. <laughs> He oh, wants him to flip. win, but nice conversion he won't on let it. him. Yep. Mm -hmm. That is the most optimal way to convert off of that combo as well, in case you didn't know. It's not like some flex he's doing when he's cancelling the upward 1 plus 2. That's literally the only way Panda can catch him for a first group. Oi, oi, oi. Oh my god. Grok looking overwhelmed right now. 
Yeah, some big damage. Okay, nice. Gets a launch. Is this going to be side wall? Oi, oi, oi. By the way, I just want to point out if Nino resets, he can again switch character because it's a new match. Oh, yeah. That is true. That is true. And he's Nino one round on away. Nino on reset point now. Hmm. <laughs> nice tasty Steve impression. I respect it. That Mario Kart style music. I love it. Grog cooking right now though, but not ready. Ooh. With a low parry from Nino's side. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. 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 He gets. Wow. Uh, Hold uh, on a second, uh, uh. Nino. No! Okay, Grog was ready for the power, uh, for the rage strike. Oh right my god! <laughs> Nino gets just like that. Why not? Why not? Why not? And I got 60 noise. counter points. Ay, 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 ay. Make the noise! <laughs> Make the noise for the reset! Let's go! You know, Yo. you know, um, how Pitbull is known as Mr. Worldwide? Yeah? Mm-hmm. I always, whenever I see Pitbull, I just imagine him go like, Mr. Worldwide! <laughs> what? I don't know, I don't know why. Because he never even says it like that, but whenever I see Pitbull, I just think in my head like, Mr. Worldwide! Hmm. <laughs> now I'm just going to be like, going like, Make the noise! Uh. <laughs> Make an appropriate amount of noise. <laughs> Make a socially acceptable character wechseln? Ja, amount of könntest. noise fitting to the current situation of hype. Yeah. Nee, 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 du kannst Charakter wechseln. Du musst. Ja, scheiße, jetzt zu spät. <laughs> Alt F4. <laughs> Oops, falsch Charakter. Yeah, no, no, we don't wanna, we don't wanna do those. Nah. Guten Abend. Round one. Nino's like, ah, shit. I, now I gotta win this 3-0. Basically, right? <laughs> Nino's like, ah, shit, now I'm not gonna lose any match. I, I should have picked my sub, ah. sub, 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 sub character. <laughs> She's a... I, I... Mm. Uh, 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 uh. Damn. 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 round on the board. Fight. Well, Nino doing an excellent job here. Yep. Nino really wasn't joking when he said <laughs> playtime's over. Uh. Uh, 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 uh. Fair point. Okay, good break, but now Nino's back is to the wall. Backlash. Not backlash, just regular power crush. Oh, man, now Grog is to the wall. What is going to happen here? There's a low. Oh, down forward two. Okay, okay, let him cook, let him cook. No! Oh, no! No cooking for you, buddy. No cooking for you. Not in Nino's I house. I hate playing against Panda. <laughs> well, thank you so much for that memorable insight, Sponchy. Wow. Like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you're. I'm sure you're the only player in Europe who feels that way right now. Second player dying to bear her boxes. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> Just like Nino does nothing and wins. I just want to know how confident Grog feels right now. I wish I could, like, peer into his mind. Oh, that because was... there's no fucking way he's going to win this match now with that much mental pressure on your brain. That much dumb fuckery, like, I think it's GG's. That was definitely... Did you know what? Yeah, the fact that this happened, the exact same thing happened against Shirtle. In, uh, what was it, Loser's Lose Semis? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm, yeah, yeah. And now it's just happening again, like... I'm starting to feel like this is a consistent thing with the bears. <laughs> could be, man. You could be onto something with that one, yeah. Chief, you know? It's almost like their hitboxes are weird because they're so big. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Damn, Damn hunting under. stands crushed down forward one. Why not? Ooh, okay, bit of poking going on over here, a bit of poking action. Yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? We're enjoying this one. This one nice patience from Grog there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh, Rage Drive connects though. Grog could still take this. I did yeah. say his head would be in the bin, but maybe it's in the exact opposite of whatever a bin is. I mean, he plays Huarong, so like his mind lives in the bin. Is it the thought bin? The thought bin. He's got one brain cell and is trying really hard right now. <laughs> He's trying his hardest, man. His damned hardest. As, as well as he can. Who was it? Oh, there was someone that a friend described as basically he's got two brain cells and they're both fighting for third place. <laughs> oh, that's the life of a of a bear player in a nutshell, actually. I'm sure your friend wasn't talking about a bear player himself, but uh, that's a pretty pretty good analogy. I can't lie. You know I can't lie, you know. I can always mm, tell the truth. Mm. Oh, yo, yo. Did we start any predictions for the Grand Finals? I could have bet some points against Nino because I, I don't want him to win tonight. Uh, I can do a production if you want. Um, nah, now it's too late. Now it's too late. Yeah, I, I guess we should have started it. Um, Earlier than that, yeah. Yeah, when Grand Finals started. I have a whopping 15k channel points. That's not bad, actually. Pretty I'm allowing decent. this message. I'm allowing this message because... It's just funny. <laughs> funny messages, yeah. I heard those are pretty good. Nino's Nino's coming for you. In the Twitch Nino's chat. coming for you. <laughs> oh, somebody threatening in here, yeah. Hello and for book by Nino. Okay. Commentator actually getting banned <laughs> from uh, from the apartment. <laughs> Can't oh, visit anymore. Nice. Bam, bam. Well done. Nice. Mm -mm -mm. Nino really doing bits right now. Oh, no, but gets down forward too. What's going to happen here? Balcony break. No. Okay. Oh no, but gets hit by the by both hits of the string there. Me no. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Nino! Plus, 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 plus. Okay. I respect the cooking right now. I respect mm -hmm. the cooking. Confident Grog. Can you seal the deal now? Round number two. Potential is there, but Nino with the wall pressure could get a crack in. As he is doing right now. Even on live, bro broken and, and oh my god, the oh, homing oh, back forward one gets him. Mm, mm. H drive, does he get the opportunity? Yes, he does. He spends Doesn't it. Doesn't get all hits though. Wow. Nice. Wow. Phenomenal read on the down 3 4. Well done, Dogs Nino. Dogs get a low, very nice. Simple and clean. Simple and clean. Clean and simple. Stakes are getting higher and higher in chat. <laughs> not Nino already getting getting threatened with by people not talking to him anymore. If he loses, <laughs> some, <laughs> some people need to translate for me, please. I'm just getting, a lonely Brit. Luin getting banned from Nino's apartment. Nino, on. Wait, why am I getting... banned from his apartment? Really? Did he say that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spoilers. He said. Unbelievable, bro. Unbelievable. Fight. He said, fuck you, you're not never coming to my house ever again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who said I ever wanted to come back to your house ever again, bitch? Huh? Oh! I went there once. I did not have a beautiful time. Hard to get. We're doing everything, bro. We're, we're doing everything we can to distract Nino from his victory here. Because Grog we're is cooking right now and they're... Oh! The phenomenal job, Grog. Phenomenal job. Beating the crap out of Nino. Oh, what a beautiful sight. Can someone just win already, please? Okay, <laughs> I just want to point out... Okay, Nino, you can't switch characters now. <laughs> can't switch you can. characters. You're allowed you just to. lost <laughs> the match. You can't switch characters. I mean, he's not going to. Oh, really? What oh, really? 
Yeah, I don't think he's going to. He was talking about Katarina, but like, <laughs> it's almost too late now. He, he still has one match to throw. Yeah, but why would you throw it? Um, To make it more exciting, I guess. We'll have to see and find out. We'll have to see and find out. But I think uh, there will be no intentional throwing done today, man. I, do, I just don't feel like it, you know? I don't I don't feel it in the atmosphere. Yeah, he's playing for real for real now. When when people are threatening to ignore you in real life then uh when it's over. <laughs> those are the big boy, you know, the big boy threats. Yeah. You can't ignore those, especially not in Tekken. Alright, entering the next match here. Grog with a W and with the life lead early on. I like what I'm seeing right now. How are you guys feeling? Who benefits more from the infinite stage pick? Panda or Horang? Panda. Uh, I'd say Horang because of the sidestep. Mm. Um, I'm not too well versed in the matchup though. Like, Panda Horang is a matchup that I don't. Was it a deliberate see. stage pick by Nino? I mean. Did anyone catch that? Or didn't no. Mm. <laughs> mm, that's that. That would have been like, that would have been the easy way to respond to it, right? Just by, because Nino, if Nino had picked the stage, you know, you could just confidently say, yeah, I think Panda's pretty decent on an infinite stage. You know, Nino ultra confident on it as well, or shit like that. But I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't watch enough to. Oh to well, find in that out, case, you know. Nino is very confident on an infinite stage, <laughs> and, you know, especially with Panda. <laughs> yes, say it like it is, Sponchy. Yeah. Tell the people at home. You know what, I think this might have actually been a deliberate stage pick with the amount of damage that Nino got in that one round. But Grog... Um... <laughs> and Grog doesn't give a single fuck, right? Like, look at him. <laughs> Grog, Grog basically oh! saying... Oh! No! He almost scammed him with a jump over, but um, mm. Nino was ready for it. Most definitely ready for it. God damn it, I man. Was, Come on, guys. I was going to say... Grog basically saying, hey, nice plus frames, bro, watch this. But <laughs> then he lost, so... Jab to your face. While sending 1-1. One, one. Really taking advantage of the hunting bear mix-ups here. But I mean, yeah, that is that is how we know and that is how we love and hate Nino. Depending on mm -hmm. who you are and how you're feeling at the given situation. But, um... Oh, no, oh they're down for two! Hold up I a second, Rage Shark! Rage Shark! Rage Shark! Come on! Oh, Rage Shark, yeah. very nice. Bro, imagine doing Rage Drive there. You would you would be one thick bastard, man. That shit would, like... Why would you risk it against bears? No, 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 no. We don't need those. We don't need those. Confident Grok. Not doing the Zeon. Not doing the... Uh... The... The, the Spongy. The potential Spongy. Hey! Hey! <laughs> I know about... Hey! No, 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 no. See, I, I know that with Kuni, you have to Rage out there. Yeah, yeah. With Kuni, yeah, but well, I mean, oh cheap. man, imagine, imagine doing Rage Drive with Kuni as a combo enter on an infinite stage. That on an infinite like... stage? <laughs> nah, I'm not. Listen, I may be stupid. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That was a good one. Oh. Uh... Nah, no, I'll be honest. Like he may I, be stupid, I pretty guys. much exclusively use Rage Drive as keep out or like a combo ender for the wall. I would never mm. use it as a combo ender on Infinite. Same same goes for for Horang, basically speaking. Uh, okay. Oh my God! Look at this now. Oh Deliberate my... Infinite stage pick once again oh by Nino. Oh my gosh! Is it really the best decision though? Because like you know, you think about how. Nino fared with the infinite stage against Swarong last time. Mm -hmm. Are we going to see a three-peat? And is Confident Grog going to take it 3-1 after the reset? I mean, tune we'll in and find, find out, out in on Dragon this Ball episode's... Yeah, yeah, whatever. Whichever episode of whichever anime season it is. I was going to say Challenger League, but Dragon Ball works just as well. It's just because, like, obviously growing up watching Dragon Ball Z, the announcers always like, oh... Will this happen? Will that happen? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z.
big emphasis on the word ball. Balls. 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 <laughs> the dragon's balls. I oh, love that's oh. what pro sigil pack. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> going balls. Yeah. yeah. That's what's all right, bringing all right, me right, back. Right. It isn't who wins for Confident Grog here, isn't it? So one more victory and he's the tournament is his, right? The first ever yes. Challenger League of this season. Yes, we are basically in the same predicament that we were in when it was, uh, you know, winners grand finals, essentially. Um, you know, Nino being one game down, Grog being two games up, but then Nino taking it all the way to the reset. Are we going to see the same thing happen again? Is Nino going to get the reverse sweep in games? Back three from Grog. Oh yo yo! And the unblockable. Nice. Very nice Very decision nice. here, especially against bears who do not have the privilege of being able to easily step that move. Mm. <gasps> Guillotine. Uh, 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 uh. All right, roll. Da, 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 da. Oh no! What can you do? Low. Ah, oh, missed the just frame skyrocket there. There was a miss input it down for three, I'm pretty sure, but it still worked out. Another unblockable. Okay, good throw break, good throw break. What's the mix? Okay, Nino, doing the thing, doing the G thing. Clef Cannon actually connects this time. Oh, the table flip for the reset. Damn! Oh, Magic ah! Pixel, what's gonna happen? Oh, yes! hey! And Grog does not allow it! No Scamaroos over here! Scamming himself, let's go! What the hell did Grog do there to get floated? That's what I wanna know. I, 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 Nino I know, floats man. Grog. What did he do? <laughs> I like how you just nonchalantly ignore that fucking slow mo moment and just keep going like nothing happened. Yeah, man. <laughs> It's bears. We don't talk oh. about it. Oh, oh man. Grog, just, like, what is it? And what if Grog is going to take this like that, I, I can't believe it, man. How, oh my God. how can you do it like this, man? How much how much of a POC standard Horang round was that, man? Very relatable to anybody it who has really been in Neo's shoes really right was. now. Congratulations, Confident Grog, man. Congratulations, dude. <laughs> wow. Many congratulations, of wow. course. Anything that so, people are in the chat room, by the way, like, let, let, let's let's see. Nino, what do you have to say to your performance, man? Yeah, Nino, what do you have to say to to your adoring supporters? Um, I think he's, you know, I think he's typing shit for, masher in the chat room. So, thank um, you for, for this, you know, <laughs> this insane run. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, there you have it. The winner of... 2BCU Challenger Series Week One or Challenger League Week One. Yeah. Goes to Confident Grog, second place to Nino, and third place to Bode. How did you enjoy today's tournament, Sponchy? Do you know what? I really, really enjoyed it. It felt so good to be back in the commentator seat. Of, you know, obviously had a blast commentating with you and Sinjil jumping in halfway only yeah. made it even more enjoyable. You know, the, the the quality of Tekken that we were watching is such a great welcome back to the Challenger League. All I can say really is just that was so, so much fun. And I thank each and every one of you for being here. And... Um, yeah, that's those are my closing thoughts. How how did you enjoy it, Levan? Mm, I'm very happy that the Challenger League is back at it again, man. The the mainstays, like I said in the beginning, they showed up again. They gave us an mm. amazing show today with a bit of sub character action, I suppose. A bit of a different twist on the classic tournament genre. We saw a Negan from Sefi, which I have not seen in a long as time. Nino putting on a combo exhibition, like. <laughs> With a multitude of characters. Anna, Bob, Dennis Panda, and Dennis Akuma. Why not? 
why not? But at the end of the day, it was not enough to challenge today's champion, which was Confident Grog for today. So, thanks to everybody for watching. Thanks to the players for playing. I hope we get a bit more, a few more sign-ups for, uh, for the coming weeks, because you do not want to yeah. miss out on this final last stand of Tekken 7 before yeah. we move on into the next generation of fighting games. And just right. remember, if you look at the bottom of the screen, you've got that Kofi uh, donation meter. Sinjil will be mm -hmm. matching the Kofi donations up to $800, so we could get, in theory, maximum... Say maximum. We could get, in theory, up to 1600 euro prize pool for the end of this Challenger League, but, you know... It's it's all about it's all about community. If you're able to donate, if you're able to show support in any way, please, please do get the word out about these tournaments. You know, every Monday, different games throughout the week. Um, it's you know, it's to be community. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're relying on the community to get the word out. You know, all the support is really appreciated. We have to give a huge shout out to the man in charge. Sinjal, who we obviously cannot have done this without. Um, thank you very much for putting on a wonderful show and a wonderful welcome back show for Tekken 7. Happy to hear. I really enjoyed the tournament as well. It was, uh, was fun. We saw a lot of hitbox spaghetti as well. Yeah. Love to see. It. And uh, if you want to watch more tournaments then tune in tomorrow for melty blood yeah on yeah, wednesday yeah. for street fighter 6 and thursday for kwf so still mm. four days Very a week nice. challenger league until the end of november saying that Hell, it's gonna be a good one boys um <laughs> i'm really fucking hyped for that one chief <laughs> i'm very hyped it's for gonna it. be an interesting challenge for Great. sure and i think uh many many surprises await us in the future man so guys Shall, let's wrap it up for today. Let's not keep the viewers waiting. Um, I promise you, we'll see you next week and the coming ones after that. See you next time, guys. See you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.